So again, it's another day. We look at a question on budgets, flexible budget, and variance analysis. And when you talk about a flexible budget, is a budget that takes into account the variation in output or variation in revenue, taking into account the actual. Yeah, we normally vary the original budget in based on actual. Like in our case now, we shall read this and we do the flexible because flexible is normally of more important compared to static or the fixed budget because fixed budget will remain unchanged even if the level of production changes the level of sales changes it will just remain fixed but the variable now with the flexible budget it will be able now to take into account the changes under the actual so that we know if this was the actual the budget will look like what that's why we are calling it the flexible budget so you read through this Translimited has provided the following operating statement which represents an attempt to compare the actual performance for the quarter which has just ended with the budget. So we have been given the budget, the number of units sold and the actual and the variance there. And uh, we've been given the sales and the cost. So we've been given all those items. So you're required using the flexible budgeting approach, redraft the operating statement so as to provide a more realistic indication of the variances so i'll prepare my flexible budget here yeah my flexible flexible budget flexible budget my flexible budget flexible budget flexible budget here yeah. and uh, the shillings in thousand Links in thousand. So when you're dealing with the flexible budget, we have what you call flexing factor. Flexing factor. And a flexing factor is a proportion that we shall be adjusting our variable, the variable or uh, variable items with it. And flexing factor is normally the actual output divided by the budgeted. Actual divided by budgeted. So this is uh, actual of a budgeted. Flexing factor uh -huh. is equal to actual output, actual output over budgeted output, budgeted, budgeted output, budgeted output. So the actual output of a budgeted output, and in our case, will be the budget, the actual of 720. Divide by the budgeted of 640. So we have a flexing factor of 1.125. So it will be changing by 1.125 the variable element. Whereby the first one uh, here we have sales. We had this and we shall multiply by this. And this one now we shall lock because this one is not changing. It is not changing here. I'll auto lock this by a 4. And I enter, so my new sales will be 1152. And I can first autofill this. Can autofill this. Yeah, I can first autofill up to that. Then the rest I will eliminate. If we don't have something we shall eliminate because for the fix they do not change. Yeah, so here we don't have something. So direct material will change. Yeah, you can see it has taken that E8, direct labor. All these will change. And I believe this will be a submission. Huh? Yeah, submission of uh, the value. The 189, let me just say that. Alt equals this one. Huh? Yeah, it's okay. Here, yeah. can you use uh, the top and the bottom? The bottom border for that 195. Then for the fix, it will not change. Yeah, the fixed remains fixed. Yeah, the fixed remains fixed at 100. That one will not change. So here we don't have something. Then fix again will remain fixed at 72. Variable will change. Here we don't have. Yeah, the fix will remain fixed at 184 and this one will change so that you have uh, this total here 
we believe it has uh, so we shall uh, change this articles from here to that point should be five uh, five seventy two I'll use the bottom and the top border for that and our net profit here will be equals to this and we minus the variable the cost of sales and we minus this whereby we shall get 85 in this case yeah that way so that will be our our flexible budget and now we shall get now the variance can include a column here for variance column for variance so the variance we shall take now the actual minus the flexible yeah so here we had a budgeted to have this 11.52 but we ended up having what 10.71 yeah, 1071 of which now this one was was lower than yeah it was lower than what we had budgeted so we shall have an adverse variance yeah if i take this and i minus this the actual we shall have an adverse variance of 81 this one again we had budgeted this we had budgeted to incur 189 but we ended up incurring what 144 so this one shall have a favorable variance here so we'll take this and uh, we minus this that way they can drag that up to here yeah that way and so those are what we had there <coughs> for this one it will be zero not zero we had budgeted 100 we ended up in carrying 94 so it will be favorable till i can drag this shall have a favorable of six and here yeah still i can drag these others can drag them and we shall see up to the end so this one we don't have anything so here we had budgeted to incur 72 we ended up incurring 83 so that one is a negative here we had budgeted 162 so it's a favorable variance here we had uh, budgeted uh, to incur 84 we ended up incurring 176 that is favorable here it's uh, zero yeah so that we have uh, 12 572 and 560 so we have a favorable of 12 and by the end of the day 85 we have a favorable of these 12 not 12 but 42 42 as our favorable at the end and that's how again the variance were to be calculated in that case in that case in that case and that's how the budget for the flexible we flex it using the flexing factor the actual over actual output over the budgeted output so that we get the actual budget and now this one gives us the meaningful uh, information when we want to compare and make meaningful decision based on the actual performance so the static remember we have said it will remain fixed regardless of what we are producing regardless of whatever the change are happening it will just remain fixed it will not be able to change and that's why it's of little importance here yeah, little importance yeah the problems that are associated with using the flexible budget is that we have to wait until the actual you cannot be able to flex it before the actual performance has been obtained so you have to wait therefore again whenever we are dealing with it remember budgets are prepared in advance in order to guide in decision making and in order to guide in expenditure but for the flexible it will come after we have already known our actual performance but before the actual performance then we shall not be able to create that budget that is a major problem that is associated with the flexible budget and that's all for flexible flexible budgets flexible budget so this one was already calculated we are only to flex the uh, the budgeted in actual